Shade Rack is still here, and with it, we've got some brand new Space Marine 2 news. This is the July community update. We've got some frequently asked questions been answered by the developers, and even more information on what's to come with Space Marine 2. So let's jump in, let's break it all down, and let's get waffling so the july community update opens with the developers and a little bit of a joke their hyping is up they say we're only 41 days away from the release of space marine 2 it's a perfect time for our monthly community update get it 41 days 41st millennium ha 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 the game is literally now on the horizon i can almost taste it brothers it tastes juicer it tastes succulent it's gonna be an absolute purge fest that we're all going to enjoy they go into a little bit more information and tell us about space marine 2 going officially gold we've previously covered this in another video but i'll just quickly go over it because they state that for those unfamiliar with the gaming industry this means that the game has been approved by microsoft and sony because of course it's launching on the xbox and it's launching on the playstation as well as pc and we've been given the green light for the production of our real tail boxes though we'll continue to work on polish until release this essentially means that if they do come across any problems right now while the game has already been shipped out that they can fix it and then once you load up the game for the first time you'll probably have an update that will fix that said problem so when you come to play the game for the first time that problem will then be fixed i think the main part of this july update is the frequently asked questions section the questions that we've all been asking the developers i do wish that some of the responses went into a little bit more information but i suppose it's it's better than nothing or getting the response we can't talk about it at this time i'm going to list the questions and the answers at the bottom of the screen so you can follow along the first one states do i need to have played space marine 1 to go into space marine 2 and of course the answer is not at all while there are returning characters it's a fresh story that can be understood um on its own without having played the first game i personally recommend you play the first game i think it adds more to the second game if you follow titus's story from the first game even though you don't need to do it i recommend that you do it the first game is a fantastic story it's a fantastic game on its own go out buy it play it trust me you'll love it we get more technical questions will the game be available in geforce now simple answer yes will it be possible to pre-download the game before it releases no say the developers so no pre-download i'm hearing that this game is going to be like 80 gig plus so to not have a pre-download oh i i, I kind i don't agree with that one i think it should be pre-downloaded so once it is downloaded you can jump in have some fun and not wait for your internet connection to get that game is there couch co-op no co-op features will be only available online so you can't sit down there with a friend on your couch one of you be titus another guy be someone else and play with each other on that couch that sounded really wrong um, does the game require to be always online to play offline mode is available for the campaign the pve can be played offline but you won't have access to progression if you do not connect to the servers i can see that being a problem for some people but i've always said right if you're going to be playing the pve and stuff like that it's probably best if you are connected to the online stuff because when you play the pve you're going to be unlocking new skins and rewards and stuff so just connect online or you're just going to be missing out you're going to be doing yourself an injustice by playing space marine 2 offline next up is a question about the campaign and i did see a lot of kickback about this when i mentioned it in a previous video it states how long does it take to complete the campaign the answer says on average the campaign should take between 10 and 12 hours to complete this can vary depending on the difficulty and your player profile of course um the high difficulty the probably longer it's going to take the more skillful you are as a player the faster you go through content a lot of people said that this should be a minimum 15 hour campaign for me i think 10 and 12 hours suits me perfect i love the campaigns in games i love the stories in games but where i really thrive is going to be that co-op content and going online pvp that's what i'm looking forward to but i can completely understand if people are upset that they're not going to get more of a hour grind in a story mode campaign and the big one the gigantic one the elephant in the room what are the pc specs 
we've been asking this for so bloody long. Developers have finally given us an official response, but it's probably not going to please a lot of people. It says, at this moment, we are conducting the final PC test. We are very aware that it's one of the most awaited information on the game, and we will come back within the next couple of weeks with the recommended and minimum specs. So I'm saying within two weeks of this video right now, we should know the PC specs. I think it should have been out a lot sooner. I've said that from the start, especially when the game is literally on the horizon of being launched. It's coming out September the 9th, don't forget. Of course, going forward into August, this is the ramp up now for a bunch of new stuff. And they say, we know you're super thirsty for more content. There's gonna be more videos, more pictures and everything like that going on their official channels. They said amongst other short videos, there's gonna be more weapons, a rundown of different PVE classes and more. And on top of that, you can expect co-op previews to start dropping during during August with content creators start publishing videos on as well on their side. Now I'm just going to hold my hands up and say I've not been contacted at all by Focus. I've been a huge advocate for this game. I'm looking forward to this game. But the problem with me is that I am blacklisted by Games Workshop. For those people who don't know, there's someone at Games Workshop that doesn't like my rumor videos. And because of that, they've put me on the list where uh, people are not allowed to interact with me. I know it absolutely sucks. I would love to bring you the content and answer all your questions as much as possible. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles, brothers, right? There's nothing I can do about it i respect focus i respect saber i've got no problems with them i know they have no problems with me this is just a pure games workshop related thing now this part of the video has been re-edited from the previous video i put out about this this is where i was showing off the black templar skin in space marine 2 which looked absolutely amazing the developer who posted that over on the space marine 2 discord was not supposed to post it and when it went out there and it started to spread and stuff of course i included it in this video and they contacted me via the pm and asked me politely if i could take it down and the last thing i want to do is get someone in trouble so you know i've i've re-edited it i've taken it down it looked fantastic it looked amazing if you got to see it praise be to you because the black temples are coming the game is coming it's going to be wild it's going to be amazing and i can't wait for august to get all the brand new information thanks for coming thanks for watching if you got any thoughts feedback anything like that post it down below and we can have a nice little chin wag down there see you in a bit have a great day and bye bye